All right, folks, so these sets were actually announced um, a long time ago, and there have been pictures going around on the internet for a long time now, but now we have official pictures on the LEGO website of the new wave, the August 1st wave of LEGO Marvel sets. Now, for anyone that has been following me for a while, you'll know that uh, back, in, back in my heyday on LEGO Instagram, I absolutely loved LEGO Marvel and I collected them heavily, so I've really been looking forward to talking about these sets. We have quite a few to get through. I thought I'd start out with this one, which is super interesting. This is the Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron. Um, $100 here for 613 pieces, and as, as per usual, we'll talk about value um, towards the end as we're looking at this thing. Obviously, this is that scene from Age of Ultron towards the beginning where all the Avengers are assembling um, on, on, on that Hydra base, that Hydra territory. Um, in terms of recreating that scene, I think they did a really great job. I love uh, all the clear pieces that are supporting the characters. I mean, you can literally create the scene and just have it on display like that. Um, there, there's a lot going on here too. I mean, the, the trees, they look nice. You got a nice car right there, the bunker right there. In total, let's see, we got the six main Avengers plus three Hydra soldiers. So that would be nine figures. So not too bad, uh, not too bad with that. Now, the, this is actually the most interesting thing about this set to me is the box art. It's just so unusual to have box art that looks like this, um, where it's like an action pose and it's not really showing everything that the, the set includes. And I'm not sure if the back of the box, okay, yeah, the back of the box actually shows what the set itself is. Um, I just think it's interesting. It, it's very unusual for box art to kind of look like this. And this is actually what the set is right here. Um, it looks like it's kind of modular. It can be broken off in different sections. Obviously the car can come off. The bunker, it looks like, has a play feature where you can kind of press down on it and it flies up. You've got stud shooters up there. So this is kind of a cross uh, between an actual display set and a play set. It looks like a decent size. Again, if you take away those figures, this thing will look very small, um, but obviously most of the value here comes from those figures and being able to get the six original Avengers in one set. So that's really awesome. And it looks like that, that Hulk right there has some printed uh, pants, which is kind of interesting. And you get Captain America's bike. I didn't even see that the first time somehow. Yeah, he's on the bike. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, here's another picture of it in person. Lots of different components going on with this thing. And here it is displayed as the actual thing. It's actually, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's a really cool set. Let's see if, oh, no videos or anything. Okay, well, that's all we really get to see of this thing. Um, in terms of value, though, I think it was, what, 613 pieces at $100. I understand why they price this thing so high because it is iconic, and a lot of people are going to want this for $100, though I'm not sure if it's necessarily worth that. I know it has a big fig and lots of figures. I think ideally, though, $80 would probably be where I'd like to see this at, and I bet that it'll be there within the first couple of months. Um, it's probably going to go on sale on Amazon or something of that sort. This next one here, I guess you could say, is kind of a partner piece to the set we just took a look at. This is the Iron Man and Iron Legion versus Hydra Soldier, um, and this is from that same movie, Age of Ultron, and I guess you could say it's kind of like the Iron Legion battle pack. You get an Iron Man figure, two of those Iron Legion guys, and a Hydra Soldier as well. In terms of the build, it's kind of lame. I mean, it, it looks all right. Um, it, it's it's a pretty small little build though. Um, it's just kind of a bunker for the Hydra agent to hide behind. You've got those stud shooters there. And yeah, the box art makes it look pretty massive, but I mean, you're not getting any of that stuff in the background right there. It's mostly about the figures for this one, if we're being honest. Now from the, the, the look of it, it looks like that this helmet right here can open up. I don't think that those ones can, which is kind of disappointing to me. I'm not a big fan of those helmets that are just static and can't be opened and just are printed on the front. But it looks like we have some uh, rotation with the model here, stud shooters, all that sort of stuff. It's clearly very much a play set. It's a tiny little thing though, it is. Um, you're really just getting this for the figures. In terms of value for this one, not a huge fan. I wish it were $15. I feel like this would be an ideal $15 set. $20 just seems a little ridiculous to me. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to throw this one in here really fast. This is the Thor versus Surtur construction figure. Again, throwing the construction figure name into the names of these sets. It's so bizarre. Um, this is from like the first 10 minutes of Thor Ragnarok. And I'm glad that they made this a set. It's really interesting. And I think that's a new mold for that uh, Surtur head right there. It comes with Thor. And, I, and this is not a version of Thor that we've gotten already. Um, and he has a cape as well. That's interesting. And that's not the Doctor Strange cow. So that must be a, a new piece. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, I like the way that they're doing that lightning bolt on the hammer. I didn't even notice that. That's that's kind of interesting. And as two of those little undead skeletons as well. Um, the sort of figure looks all right. I feel like his neck looks a little off to me. It's like really thick and muscular for whatever reason. Um, oh, he has a chain as well, so you can chain Thor up. I mean, it's a good looking set. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, the construction figure model, though, the way that they don't have articu articulable knees. Uh, I'm not saying that right. And, oh, and you can take off Surtur's head and attach it to Thor as well, so that's pretty cool. It actually looks pretty good in person, and it, it's actually a decent size. I mean, look at him compared to Thor right there. He's he's a decent size. In terms of value for this one, um, $30 is pretty expensive. I would like to see this at $20 or $25, but I, I get it. Um, it'll probably go on sale anyway. Now this one right here, this is honestly the main reason I'm making this video. I've been waiting for this set for two or three years now, maybe more. I've always wanted them to make a UCS style Milano set and they they are. I mean, this is the uh, similar style to the Benatar that we got a couple years back uh, when Infinity War was coming out and it, it looks really good up, upon first glance. I do wish it were bigger just right off the bat. Like I would have paid two, $250, $300 just for a really, really good Milano, um, but it still, it still looks really good. I, I like the look of it and I do plan to get it and I haven't even gotten too far into this yet. Um, four figures here, one nano little figure. You've got the main five Guardians essentially and it looks like they're basing this off, off of um, Guardians of the, of the Galaxy Volume 2 because we do have that baby Groot there so that's kind of interesting now the main reason that i said that you know i want this thing to be bigger is because i really want them to go crazy on the interior for the milano and it doesn't look like they really did that all too much like there's a decent amount but it's not a whole lot of interior the milano in the movies it is like two stories of ship and it would have been really cool if they would have found a way to achieve that effect let me see if i can get a better picture of the interior um it looks like all, most of what we get is just on the back of the box here but it it, it is a little cramped in there um, from what I can see. I do plan to get this thing though. I, I'm really looking forward to it. One of my most anticipated sets. Uh, I didn't even go over the value yet, but uh, $180, 2000 pieces. I'm okay with that, especially because it's a Marvel set and Marvel sets are always overpriced these days. I think that's a fair price. Obviously I could, I could always ask for things to be cheaper, but I think it's fair. And then keeping with the Guardians of the Galaxy sets, we have the Dancing Groot, and we don't have too many pictures of this one uh, available to us, but it's $45, 459 pieces. Price to part ratio is pretty much on the mark for that one. Um, it, it looks pretty good in my opinion, and I've seen people saying that they're not a fan of the sunglasses. They're obviously removable though, but I think it is kind of cute. I think it's a really nice model, and I love all the plant uh, elements that are growing up around him. Um, and from what I can tell, there's a feature you twist the knob on the back and he'll go back and forth, look like he's dancing. It looks like there's different like plaques that you can kind of put on it as well for the different uh, Guardians themes, I guess you could say, or different Guardians uh, properties. Yeah, you can take those glasses off easily as well as the headphones and just kind of hang them to the side. So that's really nice. I honestly really like the thing. And um, if this goes on sale, I'll highly consider getting it. I think $45 is just a little bit too much for me. I'm not saying it's not a fair price, but it looks good in my opinion. Yeah, you can get a better look at what that feature looks like right there. I mean, it, it's it's appearing as if it functions well. Um, I look forward to seeing this one in person if I can at some point because it, it does look really interesting. And this is the final one for us to take a look at here. This is the Avengers versus the, the Le Leviathan. Sorry, I had a little trouble with that word there. Um, that I. I don't know. I'm torn on this one because I think the Leviathan here actually looks good, but it is really tiny. And part of me wishes they would have just gone crazy with it, done like a $90 or $100 set and given us like a UCS style Leviathan. But instead it's it's more of a play set. And it's kind of just, it, it's a tiny little thing. Um, in terms of price, well, let's look at the figures first here, or the, the pictures rather. Um, you get Captain America, Loki, you get Echitari, you get Black Widow, and of course Hulk. Obviously this guy is gonna push up the price by a good five or $10 naturally. And then here's the Leviathan. And I'm not really a huge fan of the display stands, not because I'm mad that they're there, I just wish they were taller because it feels like this guy is just so close to the ground here. The box art really makes him look massive and makes him look to scale. And you can tell that they shrunk down the figures on the box art to make him look even more massive, but I really don't think this thing is that big looking at it. Yeah, it's probably not that big. I think they could have gone a lot crazier with it. Um, those are all the pictures for this, really? Man. 
It does look like it has a lot of articulation to it though. You can bend it in various places. It's got those stud shooters there. Um, pieces, $347, $50. No, I don't think so. <laughs> That's not, not a fantastic deal. And I know that we have this big fig here and there are actually a, a, quite a few fi figures in this thing. Um, I think $40 would have been fair for this. I just don't see 50 on this one. I really don't. I, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. All right, and that is all the sets that we have to take a look at here. Obviously, my favorite one and the one I'm looking forward to the most is this guy right here. But let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite or maybe which one is your least favorite. If you liked my little analysis here of these sets, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.